what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're meeting up with one of my very special friends whose name is Haas now he's done really well for himself over the years of his life now he's amassed making a lot of money in his lifetime and so today we wanted to go ahead and take him sneaker shopping for the first time because he doesn't spend his money on sneakers he spends it on things like cars his house but this is a whole new world to him and today we're gonna be going introducing you guys to him because he's actually starting to make his own content and uh, I'm excited to go and show you guys. Now we have to be a little bit different with our content today because as you guys know there's a lot of stuff going on in this world, a lot of sickness going around and a lot of the sneaker stores are closing up but they're actually opening up for us early so we can come make a video. So today we are taking the R8. You guys might be seeing some content coming up soon with this since uh, we can't really go out to many sneaker stores. This thing is totally different when we got it stocked so I'm excited to show you guys. Let's go ahead, head over to our boy Haas' house and see what we can get into. Haas's house. If we didn't say before, Haas is actually starting his own YouTube channel and that's how we're kind of doing this collab today. We met through cars and so we kind of are intertwining this. So I'm excited to show you guys. We're about to pull in his driveway now and uh, let's go ahead and see what he's got. He doesn't have all his cars right now. He's only got a few. He's loaning some out to some friends, but we'll see what he's got out. All right, guys, we made it over to Haas's house right now, and uh, we're taking him out for a day of sneaker shopping. Have you ever been actually sneaker shopping? No. No. So he wears, like, designer stuff. You got, what, like, uh, Ferragamo, some LV. You have a pair of Bape Adidas Ultra Boost. That's the only pair I really see him in when he's around me. He's trying to flex on me with the uh, Bape Ultra Boost. It's the only pair of cool sneakers I own. <laughs> yeah, but today we're gonna be changing that. The store that we're going to is Hype. Now, there's a lot of craziness going on, but they're opening up early for us so we can come and film the store, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, he, we're at his humble abode right here. You can find him on YouTube now. He's starting his stuff off. We'll talk about it later, but Hustle Hoff, and uh, we're gonna get it going. He's got vlogs. Are you vlogging today? I'm vlogging today. You're vlogging today. All right, well, let's go ahead. We're gonna head out. We're gonna show you guys around a little bit around here, show you some of the cars. He doesn't have everything right now. We have a few things to show you guys, and uh, I think Nick's gonna be going for a ride in the rolls today. So Nick's excited about that. So let's go ahead, head to the store. Let's go. <laughs> I got uh, Nick here with me in the rolls as we head to the sneaker shop. And then I'm gonna drive, so I'm not gonna drive. So how are you feeling about today, man? I'm excited. I uh, I don't really have any cool kicks, as uh, people might say. Uh, I'm, I'm coming out of the business world, so uh, a lot of what I have are kind of business casual at best. Uh, I have one pair of cool sneakers because uh, it was a Super Bowl release here in Atlanta, so I bought one because I thought it was dope and I know nothing else about sneakers. So, so you have some Louis Vuitton designer shoes on today. If you were going to go out and go out of your way to pick up a pair of sneakers, what would it be? I don't think I'd ever go out of my way to pick up sneakers at all. That's a new thing for me. Like I, I bought these because I needed, I, I swear this is a true story, forgot to pack, because I, I go to New York pretty often, I forgot to pack. Uh, a pair of like casual shoes because we were already walking a lot uh, and I actually don't normally walk a ton in New York. Uh, I have a driver up there, shout out ZD. Uh, but um, I bought these shoes because I was like, all I have are these suede Ferragamos and it started to rain. And 
that's not good for suede nor any Terragama. I dropped into Louis because it was nearby and I just bought some pair of uh, casual shoes and it was darker color because it happened to match my jeans at the time. So that's why I have these and you know, they're fine, but that's that's all I got, man. All right, so if you had to have one go-to shoe, what would it be? One, well, it depends on where I'm going and what my mood is and what my outfit is. I have about 40 pairs of Ferragamas, so it, it kind of depends on where we're going and what my outfit is, uh, but I have a Ferragamo for every possibility indication. Right, guys we just made it over to hype right now we're waiting for them to open up right now we're a little bit 10 minutes early we're getting some footage these two cars are good together don't they yeah they do yeah. they look like they look like they're brothers of a certain car family yeah he didn't think so at first but i was like eh, it's a little yeah. bit a little bit orange touch in there but uh we're waiting for them to open i'm excited to see what they got we haven't been here in a minute to see the inventory they got so. what's the name of the store hype I'm hyped. Hyped I'm 2407. Hyped it, I'm hyped. <laughs> so like I said, Haas and I met through cars. That's how we originally met, but now we're bringing him into the world of sneakers. Some of his friends that I'm not friends with, they're into sneakers a little bit, but you're probably the, are you the least out of the group? Uh, definitely the least. Yeah. I'm also the old man of the group, I think. So <laughs> that's that's why maybe I, I'm not into it yet. Yeah. Yet! Yet! Right, tip, that changes today. Um, it's gonna change today. Because <laughs> I, I wanted to get some sneakers, and my boy Harrison was like, look, if you're gonna do it, you do it right. So come with me, Shut we'll down take the store. care of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so kind of a rundown, what I think we're going to do is Haas is gonna pick out five pairs of shoes that he thinks might be current or that he likes. I'm all... gonna pick them out first? Yes, you're first picking five Ooh. shoes that you like, Shit. you like the design, you think they're gonna be cool, all and right. then I'm gonna pick some and uh, we're we'll kind of go over and, and kind of talk about it. So he's not gonna be buying 10 pairs of shoes, but we're gonna see what his taste is and what he ends up, you know, leaving with. Well, you don't know, I might. Hey, okay. Maybe you pick five hot ones, I pick five hot ones. You know what, I want them all. Hey, maybe we're buying a whole sneaker collection today. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just made it. It is Haas's first look at a sneaker store. Have you been in a place like this where it has like sneakers all over the walls and just shoes? Yeah. No. 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 So this is sneaker consignment, essentially, where all the hype shoes, older shoes, newer shoes, they're for sale. They're not at a set retail price. I'm sure you might be kind of aware with that model a little bit. Is this a shoe vending machine? Yeah, I actually own one in my- What? Yeah, I bought one. Sorry, I, <laughs> yeah. I was distracted. Yeah, <laughs> I bought one for them. So how this works is you put uh, shoes up there and then it's a key machine that goes up and in. And if it goes in all the way, pull it out, the shoe drops and you get it. Oh, that's awesome. So that looks fun. I played one of these, it's very addicting. So I made a video coming to actually his old store. I spent a thousand dollars on this to see what I could win. <laughs> So I went all out. Versus just buying the shoe. Yeah, and so, and see, yeah, exactly. There's a risk, because you can, they, a lot of places put like $10,000 shoes in here. Oh. But I thought, how can I elevate it to the next level? So I bought my own, and I showed everybody how it works, and now it's awesome. I revealed the truth of how these work, because it's basically, you can set it to where like, if you have a $10,000 shoe, you can set it to win when you have $20,000 in there. Basically like oh, game. yeah, so, so it's like the, the Vegas stuff and yeah, exactly. slot machines you can set. Right. Yeah. So essentially, most of the shoes that are wrapped, they are brand new. If otherwise, it'll say it on the bottom. Uh, that's so a lot of these ones back here are used, but this whole setup, this, it kind of goes, you can see the colors and all that. There's People buy used shoes? Yeah, it's a huge market for used huh. shoes. I, I, the shoes I'm wearing right now, I got these used. Like someone, one that was previously sweat and by another individual. Yes. It's kind of a weird... Uh, just, just so I know what you're talking about. Yes. Like but, someone wore, wore them okay. and then you're going to wear them. Yes. So think about this. One of these shoes, in this case, this is all the heat here, the air mags right there. Those go for, you know, you know those, Back to the Future shoes. Yeah, that's what I say. That's the best. Anywhere ten to $20,000. If you find a used pair, it'll go anywhere from, you know, five to, you know, 12 or whatever, depending on the condition. So if people know they're gonna wear it, know they're gonna get a better deal, they go for the used. So he was just talking about the shoe shrink wrapping. 
The sh shoes are shrink wrapped so the people who have grimy fingers who come in here don't get them dirty and messed up, especially when they're a new shoe. And so a lot of the time they do that, they put the price on the bottom. So, right. pre so this one's actually pre-owned, but it's in really good condition, so it's still wrapped up. Wow. And more of the you know expensive shoes they wrap up just to, you know keep the uh, preserve the you know materials and whatnot. This is a Jordan one. Jordan one, it is. It says Jordan one. I, I knew that. Oh, already? Uh, no, I'm lying. I did not know that at all. <laughs> Five shoes you think are the most expensive on this wall first. Most expensive? Just, just from looks, most expensive. And then we'll go into him picking out the ones that he likes. I would probably go for the one at the top shelf Shit. because they're the, the least likely to get touched. I don't know, that one looks cool. It looks a little different. That one looks the expensive. The blue one? Yeah, the blue and gold one there. This one here looks glittery and fun. The gray one? That, yeah, the gray and pink. Ooh, this rainbow. That's cool. You know what's weird is that when I see a lot of expensive shoes, they're ugly as f So I'm gonna go with these. These are ugly as f but maybe they're expensive. Up, You have this one right here. We'll reveal the price. This comes in at $600. This is a Dornbecker, which Dornbecker, it's the same one as this. Dorn children's Be designed. Yes, this is designed by children. This is children in the Dornbecker's hospital. They go ahead and collaborate and they let the kids design the sneakers. Okay. So this is one designed by one specific kid and then this one as well. This is, they're, they go pretty expensive. This is size 10, 350. Now, Another thing is prices vary based on size. So bigger sizes are cheaper. More popular sizes? Yeah, more just bigger or, or more Bigger popular? is more least expense, less expensive uh, be, just because there's less of a market for it. Okay. Smaller sizes are a lot more expensive usually. So it's based on demand really? Yeah. Okay. This one right here is uh, one, probably the most expensive that you picked. Brand new going for $1,100, size 10. Hmm. This one is all quarter of materials. This was made by a sneaker store owner in Los Angeles. So apparently or, I like the independently designed shoes. Yes, you do. <laughs> This one right here is not crazy. 200 bucks, size 13, oh, Jordan 1 Crimson. This is a cool one though, good colors. This is a Dunk, this is an older shoe. Uh, size 9, pre-owned, 500 bucks. I guess that's, you did pretty decent, except for this one a little bit, but these these are some of the more expensive. <laughs> All the really expensive ones are, are down there. Well, you told me that earlier. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't gonna choose exactly. those. All right, so now we're gonna have you go through, pick out some shoe you like that you would wear. I don't know if there's any in particular that you know you would like or wear, but we'll see what you can pull together. I don't know either. And you can see sizes and stuff on the bottom. Pick as many as you can, up to five probably. Okay. This is harder than I thought it would be. I thought there'd be like a bunch of cool, and I'd be like, oh, I like that shoe, that's awesome. See, it's like a different that. world. It's not as designer-esque, and I feel like you, because they have a few designer shoes here, like they have a pair of Chanel sneakers here. I don't know, if, like what about something like that? No. You don't even like that. That's like probably the most designer you can go for. Right but now. it's ugly. Four to size nine, 800 bucks. It's just, it's just ugly though. These, yeah, I don't think you would wear something like that. <laughs> no, that's the worst. Absolutely. <laughs> that's what I see. I'm like, I'll never do that. 350 no. bucks. No, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Valentino. You, you're familiar with Valentino though. Yeah, of course. Um, I could see you wearing these. <laughs> the foam posits. I don't even know what's going on with this. I mean, I don't mind the color. <laughs> but the shoe itself. The shoe, so right. this, is, this is why I need your help, because you'd be like, no, this is actually cool. Okay. Well, the problem oh, is- Oh, I had the originals of these when I was a kid. They said air on them. Yep, it's the up-tempo. Yeah, all right. I don't Like this, cool right there. Yeah, but mine were black, and yeah. they had white, black. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what, because oh, he's designer guy, and so this is hard to, to figure out. I actually like Give him a, a run down of these them. looks. Easy, because Matt, Vinny, they wear, Matt and Vinny, we're talking about two friends, they wear stuff like this right here. These are the uh, NMDs, these are a little out there for you. Um, I like out there, it just, I just have to like the design. Like, I'm, I'm out there. I have, I have an orange Rolls Royce. I obviously don't get like, I like <laughs> out there, but through that. Okay, let's see, what colors wise is probably too big? Orange, what about this? This is orange. Yeah, I like Yeezy, that. size That's 10. Cool. This is called the Yeezy Clay, and like uh, this is a, maybe we'll have you try it on so you can see. Yeah, how I like, I like this, this, this feel. This look. Yeah. This is a good like intro that. shoe to hype stuff. It's like okay. one of the shoes that a lot of people start out with. So I'm basically with a beginner shoe. Beginner shoe, yeah. Because I feel like <laughs> to get to like Jordan 1s, it's like kind of that next step. Like Nick is tr having a hard time like getting to that next step because he doesn't feel like they look good on him. Well, I don't know. I've never worn one before. I've never put one on my foot. Well, maybe we'll have you try on a, a Jordan 1 that I think it, you, okay. you would like. That's, 10. that's the one I but that's pre-owned. Right? You don't want to buy a pre-owned shoe, do you? I, I, you tell me. I, I, it's a new thing for me. Uh, for you, I don't feel like you'd want to be in a pre-owned shoe, <laughs> just because, but uh, <laughs> it's it's new to me. It's a cool one. It's a blazer cut off. It looks like, okay, now I'm like, no. <laughs> because it looks like your grandmother knitted this. Yes, And was corduroy. like, we couldn't afford the Nikes, so we made you some Nikes. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> and then we cut off the top because yeah. we don't know how to finish it. <laughs>
He has Ultra Boost. He has Bape Ultra Boost. Which this is a good what, one. What are those? The camo ones. Oh yeah, I got camo yeah. shoes. Yeah, yeah. The he has Bape Ultra Boost. That's the one that I see him wear a lot. I got cool camo shoes. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we try try these. See how he fits in them. All Maybe right. another. Some of these other ones are a good shoe. I don't know if they'll have your size. What about like this one? Well, you just released a video yes. that I saw like yesterday, and it had a, a like an all brown one. You yes, think called the, the one, Earth? The Earth. Yes. That looks cool. Khan, do you have any Earth? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Yeah. See? See, it's, it's for stores. Is it's it brand like, new? It is. It just came out. Oh. Okay. oh. This is one. This is not the same, but it's a, a 10 and a half. I don't know if you'd want to try it on just to see yeah, sure. how it feels. So Easy what would there. be the, the reason to have like basically the same shoe, which is a slightly different color. colorways? Uh, it's match your outfit, basically. Okay. Like what I, no, I get it. I get it. With it. I, got, I got 40 Ferragamos. I get it. I just, you know, different But colors. like this is more like casual with that one. It's like a little bit more popish. These both look very casual. To me. Okay. So that's good. <laughs> so you're aware. So I want to also pick out a Jordan 1 for him to kind of go at and see just how, how it is on foot. Let's see. Colorways is going to be a little bit tough. I'll get you these Travis Scott's. These are one of my favorites, but this is not your size. It's a 13. This is Travis Scott's Jordan 1. Mm -hmm. uh, used 900 bucks, size 13. Yeah, that's how it is. So that's three pairs there, but we just have Yeezys and Jordan 1. So it varies. Each sneaker store is different. What what's what are the writings on these ones? What, who makes this one? Pharrell Williams. It's Pharrell Williams and Adidas. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steve, Steve the Gamer, he, shout out Steve. Uh, he wears a lot of these. This is like one of his go-tos. Okay. That looks dumb on the side. You don't like the side? I like the top. The top looks cool. I like the idea, but this looks meh. Yeah, we're gonna have you see what it looks like yeah. on feet. I mean, I'm here for you to tell me what yeah. I, what I want what, you to try cool. and see. Oh, that's cool. You like this? I don't like the shoe, but that is awesome. So these, I love that. this comes with different swooshes and you can change it. Oh, like colors. interchangeably? Is yeah. like Velcro? It's Velcro on the back. Velcro yeah. swooshes? Yeah. So this is a Travis Scott shoe. You can see there's this grill on the front. Oh, okay. Logo. We'll, we'll have you try these on. I don't All think right. you would wear Air Force Ones, but this would be one. Oh, like the Nelly song. Yes. That's what those are. Yep. Got it. Now I'm coming back to this because I like this color. The color. Yeah. Is this well, is this not a not a? Cool I don't. Shoe? I can see you wearing those. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just the, the look. This looks cool. That's a blazer. That's I wear. I actually have those. This, like is, one of my this is cool. Yeah. I like this. I think these are. These are mine, actually. <laughs> mine. I like those. You want to try those on? Yeah, and, the, and that blue one. And the, this is an eight and a half, so one. Oh. 14. Over. This looks cool. That's a pretty Yeah, cool. this is pretty awesome. Cool. I could see you wear something like that. I like this. But, okay, that is essentially the same shoe as this, but you hated this. Yeah, that looks stupid. It's the same, like, silhouette. Oh, this looks awesome. Air, okay, what's the Obviously, size on the that? The silhouette matters li less to me, I guess. But this color, is a 10. This is super cheap. Yeah, but it's also very look used. Look how expensive it is. It is. Look at the well, not the top, but look at the bottom. <laughs> Doesn't smell used. Hey, a lot. Oh, because the bottom is like. Yeah. Gotta open this up for my fat foot. So, do these are these like other designer shoes that that I'm used to like where like certain makers make them a little thinner and wider yeah. than others, stuff like that. You're ten and a half. That's a ten. Yeah. That's a yeah, that's fine. Just getting in there was a little bit, but probably should have loosened these laces up. Those look good with those jeans too. Oh, that's another question. Do I wear like? Certain ones with shorts versus jeans like that. Oh, like the low tops you wear with like shorts. Like I that. wear both ways, but it depends the time of year. Those are probably look weird with shorts because they're mid. That's my opinion though. Yeah. Right. What do you think about them? I like them. The ones that he puts on first and likes the most are the cheapest pair. <laughs> Sixty bucks. You know me. Just a, I'm, a, I'm a cheapo. I like that. Those it feels ones. a little small, but by the toe or like just no, yeah. like the whole shoe feels small. You could probably loosen the but, laces, but up. it actually fits fine. Like it's probably the laces. Loosen those up. Loosen up the Velcro a little bit. So what do we think? We're put, move those. We don't have to deafen it, but move them to the S pile for now. Well, I need shoes, man. So there we go. We're going to the S pile. All right. Next up, we got the Yeezy. This is the Yeezy 350 Lundmark. This one's actually a little bit more expensive now. This is the right shoe. Is that is that how they're supposed to look? Yeah. Like that. Yeah. To be okay. okay. Awesome. All right, if you say so. What do you think about those? Those look pretty good. I mean, they're definitely comfortable, except for I kind of feel like over here my foot's coming over something. Mm. Like I'm overflowing to the side. Yeah, like like this. What do you think about that on a scale of one to ten? Are we liking it or? <sighs> one being I hate it, and ten being I love it. Ten being you'll buy it. Like I love to buy it. Exactly. Okay. Um, five and a half. Five and a half. And here's why: because they're a little boring. Like I like them. Fine. These are fine. They're just a little boring. Maybe the orange pair will All right. be different. These, these are kind of salmon to me. I like these. And there's a little bit of uh, like a purplish, bluish color. You like those? I love them. That's good. These are, these, these are a 10. Good. These are definitely a 10. I think a lot of it's the color. That's one of my favorite 
of those shoes. This is right awesome. Now. I love these. Maybe the size is a little bit different too, and it might fit a little bit better than the other one. I don't know. I love it. Cool. This is we a got ten. two two tens right there. That's good for us. I'd say this is a nine. I'm gonna buy it. Nine. But it's a nine. I mean, it's sixty bucks. Like, what? yeah, why not? Yeah. But I didn't know that before. Yeah, you didn't. So that's good. We got a winner. This was a size. This is a ten. So ten works good. Yeah. Normally a ten and a half, but that that works fine. We're too deep. We're gonna. Look around, or we're gonna get some more paired from and have them try them on. Now he's trying on a shoe that's mine as a Nike blazer. We do trades here because they usually have some stuff that they want to move, and so I bring them in and I get some stuff that I want, I kind see. of stuff. These are comfy. Yeah, those are I, those are ones that I wore uh, more as an everyday shoe. Well, aren't all these an everyday shoe? Uh, some of them aren't. Like why, these, why I don't wear these every day. Why not? Because they're rarer, not as a everyday shoe. It's a shoe. I guess. Wear it, bro. There's some shoes behind that counter that are up there, five, 10 grand. Okay, well, that's just kind of silly, but, uh, but it makes sense, no, I get yeah. it. Do you like how they look or no? I do, I just can't figure out, like, if I wore, were to wear jeans like this, it would cover most of it, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's like a low top almost. You can cuff it. Looks good. It's a little high, but anyway, yeah. uh, I like these. You do? These are cool. So, so here's the other part is, what's the layer of like, what should I not spend the money on, say you should put your money towards this one, it's a better shoe, it'll appreciate, or it's just cooler, or it's rarer, versus the things that I like and that are just, you know, happen to be inexpensive. Well, it depends. Uh, a lot of the more expensive shoes, if you buy them as brand new, yeah. if you undead stock them, which is the terms of wearing them in sneaker world. Undead stock. Undead stock. So it's dead stock means that they've never been worn. Okay. Um, so if you, undead stock being like zombie stock. Because undead. Yeah, I guess. Come on. That was, that was, that was <laughs> a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, they lose their value. Uh, but if you sit on them, they'll probably, like a lot of these, these are here 900 pre-owned. I bought a pair brand new for 600 like a year ago, maybe mm. more, but they like doubled in value from what I paid. Really? Cause I, cause I sat on them and even wearing them, they appreciated like three, $400. Wow. Um, a lot of the hype stuff, uh, Off-White is a good one. Yeezys go up too. And uh, it just depends on the shoe. Cause... I like the color, but that's about it. All right, so what am I into next here? So this will be your first Jordan one. Right there. Okay. That's a used, it's like used a pair, but momentous. It is a momentous. Occasion. Five. Five. Yeah. I'm gonna rate these a five. Also, what I liked about them, yeah, is if you wear them with jeans, like you never see anyway. But those come with orange laces. I, I mean, if I put this on, probably, it would definitely increase the points. Yeah. Like, undoubtedly. I don't know if it's enough to be like, yes. How much is this one? 200 bucks. Eh. So I feel like it's almost worth it there. Ah, yeah, I feel like I, I need the value. I'm a yeah. value buyer. You are. You know, I need I need to get the value. Rolls is a value, huh? It is. Yeah. It is. I, well, that's a different day, yeah. a different <laughs> discussion. The next but, video. But actually, I do believe it is a value. I, I think it's so. It's all it's all relative value. Yeah. So value is. A, and what value means is I'm gonna buy his wraith when he's done with it and keep it orange to match my R8, and then Nick can drive it around and we'll. That's if I ever sell it. If you ever sell it. Because I think it's one of the greatest cars I've ever owned. I've owned like 30 something cars, 36, 37, and that's the best car I've ever owned by far. We might have to do some car stuff in the future. Talk about cars. We should do a podcast on cars on your channel. We With all the forever. boys? Oh Dude, man, that'd do, be... I mean, that's what we do anyway. All right, they're orange now. Does, all right. Does that help at all? It might. We'll, you have to try we'll, them on to we'll see. Give it a shot. It's definitely more exciting though. We're thinking. They're much better. Much better. These are now like eight. Seven and a half, Seven eight. And a half. Yeah, yeah, close. This is a Jordan one. This is a it's Virgil. It's the same as this one. Yeah, Virgil Abloh. This one right here, we'll give it to you. That's your size. It has writing on it. Yeah, uh, off white. I've had like a bunch of pairs of these actually. This is one of the rarest Jordan ones. Like, I mean, it looks cool. I like this. It's up there. I like, I like the stitching. He's come with orange laces as well. So, oh, I would with the red too. That'd be interesting. Enough. Well, check yeah, the price. I mean, I could, I could, I could do something like that. You want to check the price on it? 4K. Four K. Four thousand dollars. Yeah. This is not a value to that, me. But you know how much this is? Two hundred. And they look about the same. Four thousand two hundred. Same shoe. I understand exclusivity, but you have to like the exclusivity. This is a this so is a Kanye. These look like an ugly sneaker lobster. I mean, they are kind. Of, I like the craziness. This part is my favorite part of the shoe. I think that's awesome. Eight thousand. Really? Eight thousand. Yep. Eight thousand for these. Yep. Once again. Not a value. <laughs> Those are another one that's gone up a very high in value. Wow. And that's huge. Eight thousand years. Starting to appreciate now. What you know? What you're gonna be taking people's feet when you when I, they walk by. Well, from if they, I, apparently they're not gonna have a lot of those 
you know, lobster one. I don't know, if, if, if these were a hundred bucks, they'd be a 10. Come on, a hundred bucks? Got it. hundred bucks, we got it. Sold! We're a 10. <laughs> There's a rainbow shoe right behind you. Tie-dye. That one is, yeah. That this one? one? Yeah. This is kind of cool. I just don't know what this says. It was like tool, right, on it. That it, says like, it probably, I'm a jackass. <laughs> it probably says like, peace or... Is it, what, what language is it? Do you know what this, the language this is or what it means? No. What is that? <laughs> so it's not Korean then? No, what is that? It's, it's, a, it's a shoe. All right, next pair. <sighs> what are these? Pharrell Williams Human Races. Actually, these, these feel good. Comfortable. These feel good. I think they look awesome, actually. Yeah, I, I still don't love this, but this really makes up for it. The inside looks good. You wanna see the price on them? How much are they? Ooh. It's a little more expensive. They're the most expensive pair you've tried on. I, I really like them, though. This is a more fun shoe, though. So I kind of want to be like, I'll buy this, but I'd rather just buy this. Does, as long as this doesn't say tool on it, or like, good. I'm an idiot, then I kind of want this because this, this, the colors are great. Yeah. These are say, awesome. If you kind of like those, but you like those and those are cheaper, you know. Yeah. I do like this green though. Why not just get both? <laughs> Let's get both. <laughs> <laughs> We're clearing you out today, Con. Look at, look at the show. You probably had people come spend, buy more though. Um, so, one more left to try on that we've seen. All right. These Travis Scott's. Oh, did he not? Have, did he have a, a, a gold black one? Because that would be cool. We'll look around again and see. I'm figuring out that I like the crazy that it, it somewhere in the middle I don't like, but the ones that are really far out there yeah. I like, hmm. or the ones that are just like a, one color I like. Yeah. Like I don't like anything in the middle. So you see this one. So does it come with other swooshes that you yeah. can that you put on? Yeah, I'll grab them. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, I like that idea. You're gonna hate this, but it actually reminds me of my bowling shoes. Those to me look good. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you feel, but those are fresh. I don't know of them. So are, they, or are these the one that you're like, you, sh you need to get? Eh, they're pretty expensive. Too. Oh, how much are these? 8.50. Oh, damn. Yeah, 8.50. Damn. Well, I mean, you tell me. I think you got some other good options. All right. So I think right now we have one, two, three, four, we have six pairs. I don't know if there's any others that would really stand out to you, but a lot of these are. Um, I think you got. A, I think you got good. Six is a, is a solid amount. I think. So what shoe though? If you were me, obviously just getting into it, uh, and I need one for every day of the week. So I'm on six. I need one more. What does it have to be? If if Harrison's like, look, this is my collection right now. Wait a I like to have one piece of. I'm gonna blindly on buy whatever you tell me. This I I don't give a shit what the price is. Like if you tell me I gotta spend on the weird lobster thing, I'll do it. But <sighs> pick one shoe. I'll buy it. I don't know what it looks like. How about I don't know this? What cost is. I'm gonna pick one shoe and I'm gonna buy it, and it's the one that I think that you should have, and I'll buy it. So we'll buy the same shoe? No, I'm paying for it since you're in the video. No. Yeah. That's gonna be the twist. Cause you can't just come, I bring you in my video and you just buy everything. I'm gonna secretly pick out a pair, okay. and then he's gonna have to go with that one. Oh, the orange laces. Did oh, you get them? grab the orange oh. laces. <laughs> oh no. Oh. All right, so we found the last shoe here and it's going to be this orange one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. It's not as expensive as we thought we were gonna go for, 175 bucks, but dead stock shoe. Holographic, cool, matches the rolls. I think we got some good, good options. I here. like it. I think we did good. So now we gotta figure out how much we're spending, how much he's spending, how much I'm spending, see what happens. I'm ready. For Are you a shrewd negotiator? Uh, it depends. Value buyer. I'm a value buyer. That's for sure. Like I, I just have to understand the value if it's there. I mean, we got some of these used shoes in here, so. You, I hey, don't know. This, some of the used shoes are more expensive than the new shoes. Like those are more expensive than those. So we got the total here, sixteen twenty-five forty. Now one seventy-five of that I'm giving you, so I'll just Venmo you. But sixteen twenty-five, seven pairs. What do you think? Uh, I think I think it's a little pricey, but uh, is that is that including the all? Oh yeah, the, so it includes the one that that you're getting. Yep, includes the one I'm getting. If we took out that one, it'd be about fifteen hundred, but it's also one hundred twenty in tax. Uh, and then how he much knocked, is the green? He ones? knocked those down from six hundred to five hundred. Do you want to do like uh, like thirteen fifty for him? 
because then we'll just keep it because I, I do like those green ones. All right, so now we're at 15, 17 after tax. I just want a value. That's all I care about. Shh. I don't care who's paying. I just want there to be a value. Is this a value? 15, 17 for seven pairs? Uh, you know, I, th I think I think it's a value. I, I, think, I think that works. Because I think value? the value of seven pairs that I'm getting that I like is the same as what you pay for one pair of shoes. Yep. So I think that, I think it's value. Yep. I feel like I got a value. It's fantastic. We'll, we'll show all the shoes when we get back to your house, lay them out. It's good. I'm good with it, man. I thought I'd have to end up paying for like really expensive shoes that I thought were ugly because I couldn't find any ones that I liked. All right, can you can you handle it? We got them. We got a few pairs. All right, let's see how many sneakers can fit. Oh, you got plenty of room. Oh, it's a roll, dude. I can fit like four bodies in there. <laughs> Next time we gotta see how many we can actually fit in a Rolls Royce. Like, dude, I could fit twice this many. Yeah, look how Easily. easy that was. The R8, Easily. I can fit like four. Easily, I got, I got. Should we go back in there and buy some more? I, I got I more mean, space. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Seven pairs. We'll get back and show you all them laid out but uh, I think we had a good time. Shout out Hype. They're out here in Atlanta and uh, we're gonna wrap up now and head back. All right, so we just made it back. We're gonna unload all the shoes. We're gonna lay them out outside probably to show you guys. Kind of a nice day out. Uh, we made it all the way back and uh, let's go and see what we got. He wants to go shopping more now. He's I like, do. we need to go back out. What's another like, store? We, you know, we saw one store selection. I think we need to go to others in the near future and see oh, what yeah. else we can get. Yeah, there's a lot of selection out there. This is just one store, like he said. So let's pull all the bags out. Look, they survived your crazy driving. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're back. We're gonna bring out all the shoes. We'll bring out one of each shoe and show you guys everything that we ended up with. You guys saw for the most part what we got back when we were at the store, but we'll just briefly show you. All right, so we got the shoes out. I think this is a solid collection. We have three Adidas, four Nike, good variation, orange, orange. Oh, there's a lot of orange here. And these ones he got orange off white laces with, so there's gonna be even more orange. There might be a theme here. There might be a theme. There might be a theme in all my videos because everybody clowns me for saying orange is my favorite color. We got some human races, cool combination there, and uh, my shoes, and they still got the price on 100 bucks. <laughs> I paid 100 bucks for him, so. I think we're pretty solid. You happy with how this turned out? I'm, I'm really happy. I think this is a great value. I do. Value. It's, it's what I'm about, man. The word of the day, let's get a value counter up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really do think it's a good value because you're basically saying that the price that I got all this from, uh, for, for, you know, what, what I paid for all these is what you pay for one shoe. Yep. So I got a decent collection, at least, as you might say, decent collection for yep. the price of a shoe. So I think it's yeah for what you have here. Like these and these alone are like eight to nine hundred dollars for both of them. And you know, and you got five more shoes on top of that. So. Yeah, I got one for every day of the week. Are you gonna wear one every day of the week? Yeah. Well, check and check his YouTube out, and he'll he'll show you him wearing his new shoes. Well, <laughs> the problem with that is, what am I gonna do next week? You can wear them multiple times, do, like they're used. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I bought you shoes now. That's yeah. that's another new thing. Well, thanks for your help, Harrison. It's been great. I we'll, love this. We'll be back, and uh, we're going to be doing some stuff soon with the boys buying some shoes. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.